Hi, my name is Colleen. Hi, my name is Fahmina Sroul. Hi, my name is Andy Lau. Hi, my name is Yoon. Hi, my name is Yasuka. And I'm Nurisha Hira. Today, we are going to prepare Everything Sumate Jelly! The apparatus needed are listed below. Here we go! First, calibrate the container with 80ml of distilled water. Discard the distilled water and leave the container dry. Calibrate the beaker with 100ml of distilled water. The purpose of calibrate the beaker is due to the stickiness of the jelly. We will prepare 100ml of jelly product and dispense 80ml in order to get the exact weight that we want. Discard the distilled water and leave the beaker dry. Measure 60ml of distilled water and transfer into the beaker. Light up the Bunsen burner before putting the tripod stand with wire gauze. Transfer 5 gram of metal cellulose into the beaker, portion by portion with continuous stirring to ensure there is no lump formation. Stir the mixture until the gel is formed. You might ask your friend to assist you as it is very difficult to do by your own. Heat the gel with continuous stirring in order to speed up the gelling process. Transfer 15ml of glycerin into the beaker, portion by portion with continuous stirring. Transfer part of distilled water into the beaker until the calibrated mark is reached. When the temperature reaches 60 degrees Celsius, transfer 1 gram of the ephedrine sulfate and 0.1 gram of the benzoic acid into the beaker portion by portion with continuous stirring. You might dissolve the ephedrine sulfate and the benzoic acid in a bit of water before mixing with the gel base to ensure better mixing. Set the micro pipette to 10 microliter and transfer the metal salicylate into the beaker. Set the micro pipette to 100 microliters and transfer the eucalyptus oil into the beakers. Make sure that there is no air bubbles or leak out of the solution at the tip. You might shoot the solution down the wall of the beaker or just shoot it at the center of the beaker. Stir the mixture by using the glass rod.
pour the jelly product into the container until the calibrated line is reached and cap the container. Label the jelly product accordingly and our ephedrine sulfate jelly is done! Stirring by using the thermometer is wrong. If it is broken, you may have to pay for it. Hence, use a grass rod instead of thermometer.